So, this video is going to be in part about the WSJ or the Wall Street Journal situation that happened recently. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, I will explain it in due course. And also, the spurging out of certain people. Now, I was unfortunately beaten to the punch by a certain squid a Cthulhu kin squid who really likes sandwiches. But regardless, I am going to give you guys my hot take as the only video of this week due to my insane workload that I can only blame myself for. What happened was this, the Ralph Retort. Yes, the Ralph Retort. For those of you who don't know who the Ralph Retort is, he is the guy who runs the kill stream and he also runs, or did he used to run, a well-known blog slash journalistic outlet known as the Ralph Retort. He was famous during Gamergate, that's where he gained his initial fame before blowing it all away in a spate of dramas. He decided recently to do a charity stream for St. Jude's Hospice or Hospital, I, I don't know. It's in America somewhere, I assume. Most of his followers were donating this through Super Chats. I didn't even know you could even donate to charities via Super Chats, but apparently you can. During this stream, something happened at the Wall Street Journal where they basically caught wind of this and made an article about this and St. Jude's refunded the Ralph Retort, mainly because apparently there was alt-right comments in the chat, apparently. The Ralph isn't actually alt-right. You know, you can say whatever you want, but is it really relevant to a charity stream? I don't know, but hey, people will make jokes, people will write serious things, and that's the nature of an internet chat. Regardless, this has happened, and it's made the Wall Street Journal look like scumbags, and St. Jude, even though they think this is I assume a matter of publicity. Still, it doesn't reflect well on them that they're being convinced by the media to do things like this, which go against their benefit. Now, those of you who don't actually know, this isn't something that's unknown. There have been many charities and many cases of the media getting charities to withdraw funding from people who are considered unscrupulous, alt-right or Nazis or whatever you want to call it. This has happened throughout the years of the culture war. This is nothing new. I guess maybe this one was much more public because it was an actual outlet, the Wall Street Journal as opposed to something like Kotaku or Gorka which don't have the pedigree. It was the actual mainstream media. But this is nothing more than the backdrop to the video I'm actually going to make, where I basically dissect and destroy the hot takes of some of the people who decided to open their mouths and, well, let's just say, what came out of their mouths, figuratively speaking, that is, wasn't very good. And chief among them, David Sherat. Hashtag Sherat Patrol. So what prompted David to make these hot takes? Skeptic, I'm a skeptic, released a statement on Twitter saying that Ralph is a dick and a tiny man, but everything that happened to him in the past 24 hours is absolute horseshit. I get he and his guests' opinions are distasteful, but he isn't doing anything illegal. He deserves a channel and his money should be good for any charity. That's a reasonable thing to say because it's about the principle, not the person. That's what Skeptic is trying to say here. But David, Sherat, oh, it's not about that. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter about the principles. It's all about the people and the ideology that they happen to agree with. Even though, as far as I know, Ethan Ralph is not even an alt writer. He's at most a libertarian. Now, of course, David wasn't happy with this and he promptly attacked Skeptic saying, imagine being this much of a cook that you start defending a man who regularly harasses your fiance. <laughs> In his evidence for regularly harasses your fiance, he basically comes up with these tweets that aren't regular. In fact, these tweets don't actually link shoe on head to the tweets. He actually is subtweeting her, so he is not harassing her. He has her name in bold lettering, which is not the same as actually acting somebody. And he's just being his usual idiotic self. There's nothing here that's out of the ordinary. And then Shu defends Skeptic and says, because it's not about the person, it's about the principle. I don't care that Ralph mocks me. I'm not a child who will celebrate someone I don't like being the platform. The hair thing I've been hearing since I was 11. It's fucking wallpaper to me. Then David tried to urge Shu to see the light 
to see what she should be seeing, because remember, he's a progressive now, and progressives and feminists love to tell women how to think. He tried to paint you as a pedo supporter, and posts revenge porn of young women on his site. He is a criminal harasser. Stop cooking for him, Jesus Christ. And yeah, he did try to do that. He's a scumbag. But again, it's about the principle, David. And it's interesting that he uses the term cook. Isn't that a dog whistle, David? I mean, this is coming from the same guy who basically cooked himself and changed all of his principles basically overnight because he got some virtual pussy and got rejected by Lauren Southern and is still salty ever since. Using the word cook is a little bit hypocritical, Shera, I'm just saying. You're a MGTOW on the streets, but a cock in the sheets. I'm not cooking for him, dude. Why are you unironically using that word? And defending the right for people I disagree with to have the same freedoms I do. You literally said you didn't know why you were fighting him. He called you a fucking pedo, dude. Shoot, because I literally don't pay attention to him or his show. I haven't seen a single episode. I honestly don't care about what dumb shit he spews about me. Why can't you understand that it's not about him? Also, why are you being so mean and nasty to Greg? Because I think it's pathetic that you're defending a serial doctor, harasser and false flagger. He's a fucking criminal. What would he have to do for you to stop defending him? David, she only wants females in her threesomes, says Brittany Venti. He's transitioning, remember? <laughs> <laughs> says Hispanic half-breed. So as you see here, David is only interested in twisting the knife into Ralph and make it even harder for him, because I, I do believe that his channel was taken down as well, or at the very least his stream was taken down. I can't exactly recall the events, but again, this is the backdrop to these shitty hot takes. David, I mean, he is artistic, obviously, but he is really, really hyper-focused on Ralph the individual as opposed to the principal that even though Ralph is scummy, he lies about people and he tries to misconstrue things, he's done all these things, he should still be allowed to donate to any charity that he so chooses, regardless of his ideology, regardless of what he thinks about people. And he doesn't seem to understand anymore, because he definitely used to understand this back in the day. I don't know how he's completely forgot about this. You can hate somebody, you can disagree with somebody on everything and still defend their rights. You can still say that they deserve the right to freedom of speech, they still deserve a platform, they still deserve the right to give to any charity that they wish, and should not have their money refunded to them because they are considered undesirable. Like, I just don't understand how he doesn't get that. But, again, he is now ideologically driven. He is an ideologue. He hasn't got a leg to stand on. This is nothing more than him trying to force you into his side. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to shame her. This is what this is. This is what a social justice warriors do to somebody who says something outside the status quo. If they say something like, oh, I don't believe in the wage gap, they will get hounded by people like David and forced to agree with them or to at least pretend to agree with them. Because conformity is better than no conformity, right guys? But of course, it doesn't end there. David had his own Twitter thread and had this to say. I love how insanely mad they are right now. I will make batteries from your salt. Now, I don't know how exactly you make salt into batteries, but okay. Killstream just took on a whole new meaning. And then quotes himself attacking Ethan Ralph. All my social channels have been deleted from YouTube. So yes, he was deplatformed. I'm so sorry, man. You have my condolences. In a rare use of sarcasm from an artist. I like that you reactivated just to tweet this. Shows how pathetic your life truly is. LMAO, said Ethan Ralph. Then David responded, at least I can still post to YouTube. Wow, David. Sick burn. Wow. To me, this is nothing more than the cripple fight in South Park. This is two idiots fighting each other. However, one is actually in the right, and that's Ethan. He's done nothing wrong, at least at the moment. He has done things in the past. He will probably do things wrong in the future, but in this space of time, he has done nothing wrong. There is no argument here. This is a serious issue. People are getting no platformed because they're donating to charity, and the media is attacking them because, again, People like me, Ralph, Sargon, Lou Levi, all the people like that, we are the competition to WSJ. They have a vested interest in making sure that we don't have our platforms, or if we do have our platforms, we're limited in the way we use them, and in society, we are deemed as outsiders, so that people and organisations refuse our services, refuse to hire us for things, things like that. It's all part of the culture war, guys. And I think that, yeah, this does need to be called out. Don't cry about it, but certainly call them out. And for the most part, people have called them out. So on the whole, that's it. Sherat being an idiot, shoe on head and skeptic, remaining principal. So what's my opinion on this? Well, you already gather what my opinion is, and I'll just summarise it again. They should be allowed to just donate to charity. They shouldn't have their platforms taken away unless they actually break the law, which as far as I'm aware, he did not. He was false flagged. Now, some people were claiming Sherat did it. I saw somebody on Twitter say that, but he probably didn't. 
not something that Shamrat would want to be caught doing anyway. Second, why should they not be allowed? I don't understand, why should they? Give me one good reason other than they don't agree with me. They say things that I don't like, because that's not an argument. I don't even like Ralph. As I've mentioned before, we hate each other, but I still think the principle should still stand that this guy does not deserve to be deplatformed over drama. That's all he does these days, it's drama. He's a drama channel now, and occasionally wants to donate to charity to help people. Let him do it. Let him do it. I would defend David as well. So anyway, that's all I've got to say in the matter, guys. I'm really tired. I'm really, really, really busy, but this video will be out as fast as possible, so... Welcome new subscribers from Doc's video, and until next time, I'll see you later.